church, I feel that we've grown dangerously complacent. I feel that we read about Jesus and the apostles and simply congratulate them, only to come to the conclusion that we need to read and pray again. We pray for opportunities to share the gospel, and what's sad is we close our eyes and cover our ears and go back to relax and comfortably passive, all the people passing. But that's okay, because you told them with your actions. You put on a great display. You knew just what to say with a smile on your face, as if your actions actually differed in any way than the unbelievers that they've seen all day. You see, we go to church every Sunday to get wrecked by God, only to go home and take a nap. And we wonder why people laugh. We gripe and complain, stand up and proclaim that we don't want to see this world the same. But then we continue sleeping. You see, we were given the Spirit of God for a reason. And I promise it wasn't so we could hide and seek. It's treason. Eyes glued to our screens while the world's out here screaming. But I wonder, I wonder what happens when we take the Bible seriously. If we live scripturally, if we're filled spiritually, renew our minds continuously, love unconditionally, what happens if we're called to make disciples of all nations and we actually do it? Instead of getting rejected once and giving up because we blew it, as if God's not the one that makes something happen through it. What happens if we love God and love others so much that we actually love God and love others? What happens if our heart breaks for the lost? If we seek those in depravity and stop looking at people that will burn in hell as just another conversation that we don't feel like having? What if we're so filled with the Spirit that we can't even have a thought to ourselves? What if we endure persecution and rejoice in suffering while sitting in a cell? But the problem is, we can't even comprehend what that feels like. We get looked at weird one time and realize that evangelism is not my type. Besides, if it's meant to be, somebody else will get them, right? My fear of church is that we've gotten too good at excuses when we know for a fact that God wants to use us. Church, it's time to rise.